Yeah. Okay, so can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. I don't know yes, why. Yes. Okay, I think the internet connection actually failed. All right. So let's see. Then we were discussing about this one. Why is having proper business etiquette important? Okay. Well, first of all, this is very important, guys. Why? Because at the workplace, we need to have manners. I'm going to turn off my camera because I think that it is a internet connection. Okay. So because actually at the workplace, it's really important for you to show good uh, manners, right? Buenos modales. Yeah. So business etiquette means modales. Um, los buenos modales, los valores that you have, etc. All right. And how can it help you in your career? Well, it can help you to grow, right? It can help you to also be promoted at the workplace. Yeah. If you do the things in the right way, so you are going to have more opportunities, right? People will notice you. So in this case, um, manners can help you in your career in order for you to be successful, right? In order for you to have more opportunities, etc. Yeah. So now let's move and let's talk about the following. Do you know the three R's of business etiquette? Do you have any idea about that? Well, in this case, the three R's of business etiquette are recognition, respect, and response, right? Whenever it comes to your workplace, okay? At the workplace, this is very important. And let's read why, okay? So let's start with recognize other employees. The first one was recognition, right? So we have recognize other employees. Um, Carlos Arias, help us reading everything. Okay. Make point of using people's names when you see them, even if you don't deal with them regularly. It shows you interested in them and remember them. Get ready, ready. Mm -hmm down the names of the people you come you came across in meeting is a good way to help remember them and if you do forget a uh, name say something such as um sorry i have forget forgotten uh, your name rather than try to hide the fact that you forgot also, if you find out of out about, about or a college birthday, maybe it's not easy of it a simple happy birthday goes a long way. Thank you. All right. So it says recognize other employees. So this means read this, guys. Okay. It says make a point of using people's names. All right, this is business etiquette at work, right? So we need to use people's names, yeah? Whenever you see people, right? Whenever you see them, sometimes you do not remember about uh, their names, right? It says, even if you don't deal with them regularly, all right? But whenever you use people's names, it shows you are interested in them. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do forget, that means if you don't remember a name, say something such as, I'm sorry, I have forgotten your name, right? Rather than try to hide the fact that you forgot. Okay, so this one is the first one. You need to recognize other employees. You need to call people by their names. Okay, that's the first R. What about the second one? Respect other employees. Um, Susana, help us reading this one. Yes. Uh, um, 
Okay. Treat everyone with respect and courtesy. Whatever their position. The receptionist say, the receptionist you say hello to each morning could be an important source of help further down the track. And the ET manager will be a welcome friend when you need help urgently. Urgently. Also show respect urgently. Also show respect in meetings by being on time and thanking college when appropriate mm -hmm. small things make a difference and are remembered. Needless to say, if you do make a mistake, apologies. Oh, okay. So apologize. Apologize. Yes, and this one is going to be colleagues, right? Colleagues. Mm -hmm. It says, Respect okay. other employees. So the first one was recognize other employees, and this one is respect other employees. Treat everyone with respect and courtesy. Respect and courtesy, whatever their position. And this is very important, right? The reception is you say hello to each morning could be an important source of help further down the track. In the IT manager it will be a welcome friend when you need help urgently yeah also show respect in meetings by being on time and thanking colleagues when appropriate yeah small things make a difference and are remembered needless to say if you do make a mistake apologize so that means respect yeah respect other employees and the last r is respond so let's see and nelson let's see if your uh, mic works hello yes okay okay yes. help us always read. return phone calls and emails even if you haven't got got the answer they're looking for let them know don't leave people waiting and go and wondering remember to uh, also use appropriate salut salutation in each email yes. using greetings such as hi or hello help soften up the message and it's great to help build relationships yes make please thank you and you're welcome part of your every vocabulary. These simple words can make all the difference in how you are perceived by others and how you make others feel. Correct, thank you. Okay, guys, so the last R is going to be respond, okay? This is very important, okay? It says, Always return phone calls and emails, all right? Even if you haven't got the answer, okay? Even if you haven't got the answer, they are looking for, let them know. It says, don't leave people waiting and wondering. Mm -hmm. We need to return phone calls and emails. That is part of your business etiquette, yeah? Es parte de los modales en el trabajo right? Respond. Yeah. And it says, remember to also use appropriate salutation in each email. Teacher, and what is salutation? It is saludo, right? Saludo. Yes. Uh -huh. Salutations. Using greetings such as hi or hello helps soften up the message, right? And it's great to help build relationships so we need to be kind whenever we respond and it says make please thank you and you're welcome part of your everyday vocabulary mm -hmm. it says these simple words can make all the difference in how you are perceived by others in how you make others feel okay so the three R's of business etiquette. 
Yeah, recognition, respect, and response. Recognize other employees, respect other employees, and respond. Those are the three R's that we must follow at the workplace. Yeah. Now let's move and let's see. It says discuss proper business etiquette tips. Tips that you should follow for the situations below. Okay. What type of business etiquette should we follow whenever we are introducing ourselves and meeting someone for the first time? What type of business etiquette? ¿Qué tipo de modales debemos de seguir? Recuerde, business etiquette means modales en el trabajo, okay, en los negocios. So, whenever we are introducing ourselves and meeting someone for the first time, what type of business etiquette should we follow? What do you think? Uh -huh. Greetings for everyone. Okay, correct. You need to greet the other people. That is correct. What else? Have a good clothes. Okay, all right. Have clothing all right perfect yes okay okay and whenever we are having meetings with colleagues or clients in an office what business etiquette should we follow in a meeting mm -hmm. Maybe says uh, her name and your experience about the the jokes. Maybe okay, could be, could be. All right. What else? Uh huh? Give a coffee <laughs> or something to eat. Okay, uh, would you like uh, have some water, right? Okay, offer something, okay? Perfect, yes. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important ones, be on time, right? Be, be on, on time. time, yeah, be on time. If you are the one that is going to present, be prepared, be prepared, right? Mm -hmm. And whenever we are writing emails to others, what business etiquette should we follow? if we are writing emails to others? Be specific. Be specific, yes. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Be tactful. Be tactful, perfect, correct. Be diplomatic, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Correct, right? Excellent, very good. Okay, let's move. Now it says, Let's choose the correct prefixes that you think fit each word below. Two of them are not used. Okay. Then let's see. Number one. It says, my space understanding of the task instructions resulted in mistakes. What prefix? <laughs> In, on, this means none. Which one? None. None understanding. Okay. Of the task. All right. In this case, uh, not exactly. Correct. It is going to be misunderstanding. And what is the meaning of misunderstanding? What is the meaning? Misunderstanding? Malentendido. Malentendido. Correct. So whenever you want to say malentendido o confusión, you can say misunderstanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, fue un malentendido. It was a misunderstanding. Eh, para evitar malos entendidos. To avoid misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see? Now, number two, if your colleagues are rude to you, you may feel? Uh, 
respect. 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 Okay, so in this one, disrespected. This. Disrespected. Disrespected. Yes. Okay. Respected. Positive. Disrespected. Negative. It's hard to work with people who are really non cooperative. Mm, okay. Uncooperative. Uh, uncooperative, yes. Um. Mm -hmm. So, this is a good way for you to learn vocabulary like antonyms, right? So, we have understanding, the opposite, misunderstanding. We have respected, antonym, disrespected, cooperative, uncooperative, right? That is a good way for you to learn vocabulary. Yes? Um, all right, guys, let's continue. Okay, it says, let's match each adjective below with its correct definition. Okay? So let's see. Number one. What is the meaning of annoyed? A little B, a little angry or irritated. Okay, so a little angry or irritated. Okay, perfect. Irritated. What is the meaning of bossy? Always telling others what to do. Always telling others what to do, right? Sometimes people are really bossy, right? So what about number three, appreciated? A, hey, valued or respected. Okay, valued or respected. Okay. What about uh, vital? Very, Very important. important. Very important. Very important. And what about engaged? We're strongly, strongly focused on and involved. Yes, engaged means a strongly focused on and involved. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me something that is vital for you. Something that is vital for you. My mother. Okay. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. My cat. Your cat. Okay, son. The health. Health. Uh -huh. Vital. Absolutely. Mm hmm Okay, so what we're going to do right now, guys, is that we are going to start with the survey, okay? We're going to start with the survey. So do you have the survey in your email? ¿Tiene no, teacher. No? No. No, teacher. Okay. Um, all right. I only, I only received a message for WhatsApp, but ah, okay. the, the information is incomplete. It's incomplete. Okay. So yeah. um, I will send it here in the chat here in Zoom. Open that link and we are going to actually um, complete it together. Okay. Just let me, let me share my screen. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So you will see this, this page, right? So where it says, uh, give me one second. Oh my God. Okay, give me one second, guys. Um, so where it says, guys, I think that Zoom is failing. Yeah, Zoom is failing. Give me one second, okay? Okay. Okay, what it says, guys. Can you hear me? ¿Sí me escucha? Okay. Yes. Okay, where yes. it says, donde dice orden de inicio, va a poner lo siguiente. Déjeme se lo mando. Let's see. Uh, 
Um, espérame, no sé si lo ven bien, porque Zoom como que está bien raro. Ok, creo que sí. Bye. Esta es la orden de inicio, miren. Es, es el número de orden de inicio. Así como se lo proporcioné, así, así mismo lo pone. Vaya, ahora, lo siguiente dice su nombre completo, su correo, todo eso es personal, ¿verdad? Número de celular, todo, todo, todo. El nombre del proveedor sí se lo voy a proporcionar. Para que lo pueda buscar, creo que usted ya lo sabe. Es inglés corporativo. Ok. Regal International. Eh, el nombre del curso es inglés intermedio módulo 1. Y la fecha de inicio y la de finalización. Ok. Cuando ya haya terminado, guys, de hacer la encuesta, le tomo un screenshot y la manda al WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Porque eso es para que ellos puedan ver que si la realizaron. Please. Es que me dice. Yes. Eh... Lo primero que envío, los primeros números, 97, 50, 80, 48. Tiene no. Tiene que llevar cero. No. Eh, es 29, eh, 29, 750 guión, el que le mandé. Esa es la orden de, sí, esa es la orden donde dice, eh, orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Tiene que ir exactamente como se la proporcioné. Empieza con 2, 29,750. 80, 48, 02, 24, 2023. Todo eso tiene que ir. Todo, 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 todo. Solo copia y péguelo. Sí. Uh -huh. Es que no me lo pega todo. No sé qué pasa. Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, en la parte donde dice la empresa donde trabaja, tiene que ser eh, la que me inscribió, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Okay. Teacher, tal vez me puede compartir la razón social de la empresa. Eh, Uh, pero de donde yo trabajo. ¿Dónde se trabaja? Ajá. No la tiene usted en su correo. No, en el WhatsApp me la mandaron, pero tampoco no está completa. Vaya, permítame. Es necesario dejarla tal cual. Eh, eh, ¿Qué, Nelson? La razón social. Sí. Es importante. Dame un segundo. Uh, 
whimper. Okay, Wilmer, there you go. Um, somebody else, guys? Alguien más que tenga, okay. Alguien más que tenga dudas? Preguntas? Okay. Okay, let me see. I got Raul. Eh, I got Rafael Alexander Serna. Recuerde mandar su nombre completo para que para que quede registrado, okay? Su nombre completo con su imagen. De enviar la captura al, al, grupo, al de grupo que tenemos todos. Ok. Es que a mí me mandaron el enlace, pero en privado, entonces. O oh, no, es al grupo de No web. sé si responder a eso. Ah, ok. Teacher, yes. eh, digamos la área de empresa, solo digamos la empresa donde trabajo, solo el nombre, ¿verdad? Sí, el nombre de su empresa donde se trabaja. El nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Ok, le va a poner el siguiente. Se lo voy a mandar aquí. Va a buscar en, en las opciones que tenemos y va a seleccionar inglés corporativo a uh, regal internacional. Dice. Ok. Uh -huh. Inglés cooperativo real. Ese lo puedo pegar, ¿verdad? Sí, lo puede buscar porque tiene un menú ahí. Ah, ok. Me envíen la razón que usted me expresa, por favor, que no la recuerdo. Ok, vale, permítame. Gracias. Sí, Carlos Arias.
Ok, verifique su chat, Carlos. Listo, gracias. Ok, very good. So let me see. So we got Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. We got Hosman. Thank you. We got Susana. We got Wilber Alberto. Joel Salva, José Salvador, sorry. Eh, Nelson Alberto. Karen Lisette. Ok. One, two, three. I'm missing, um, let me see, I'm missing. I'm missing seven guys. Me faltan siete. Karen, teacher, yo todavía voy de camino. Eh, no, Rose. Si puede ingresar en este momento al link, trate de ingresar al link que les mandé aquí en el chat. Uy, eh, creo que lo mandé. Okay. Trate de ingresar. Eh, desde el navegador va a poder ingresar. Trate. Okay, okay, I got Edwin. Eh, okay, so Anna, we are taking the survey. Hello? Hello, we are taking the survey. Estamos tomando la encuesta, Anna. Yes, I make it now. Okay. All right, perfect. Si tiene dudas o preguntas, me las hace saber. ¿Alguien más que tenga dudas, guys? Y los que me faltan, bueno, creo que ya... Eh, okay. Oh, ok, Rose. Vale, bueno, permítanme. Mm. Okay, guys, so let's see. Fatima, perfect. Eh, teacher, una, una consulta. Este, este link que puso abajo es el mismo de arriba, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, yo sí ya terminé. Perfect, thank you. Okay, I got. Teacher. Yes. Uh, tuve un problema, así que voy a volver a tener que comenzar. Lo siento. Lo voy a hacer rápido, sí. Okay. Teacher, I can see the information that you send to the chat for the make the. Okay, so Anna. Okay. Eh, bye. Orden de inicio es la que acabo de enviar. 
Luego va a llenar los datos con su información personal. ¿Ok? Poner su nombre completo, su correo, su número, eh, sexo femenino masculino, departamento, municipio, empresa donde trabaja. El nombre del proveedor sería inglés corporativo. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Eh, luego de eso, el nombre del curso sería el siguiente. Se lo voy a mandar para que lo copie y lo pegue. Ok. Sí. Vale. Inglés intermedio módulo 1. Ese sería el nombre. Luego va a valorar los siguientes aspectos. ¿verdad? Y pues usted califica según su experiencia y luego eh, la fecha de inicio, la cual fue el eh, 30 de okay. se la voy a mandar también para que se la pueda copiar y pegar y la fecha de finalización que es este día que es 3 de marzo Okay, so I'm just missing Anna and Eulise. Okay, thank you, Glenda. Perdón. Okay. Eulice. Aún no, aún no, estoy en eso. Okay. Eh, the proveedor is English Corporativo Regal. Correcto. Ok. Ok, Ana, cuando ya haya finalizado, manda un screenshot al WhatsApp. 
con su nombre completo. Ok, Eulice. Ok, yes, thank you, Raúl. Uh, ahorita ya terminé, ya le envío. Uh, WhatsApp. Please, sí, al grupo. Uh -huh. Ok. Con su nombre completo, Eulice. Okay, thank you, Elise. Okay, guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the um, the grammar quiz. Okay, we are going to take the grammar quiz right now. Uh, let's go to the spreadsheet and let's open the general knowledge quiz. It's that one. Let me send it for the ones that do not have it. There you go. And the passcode is going to be grammar. Oh, sorry, grammar like that. Okay, guys, once you are done, let me know, please. Okay. All right, so I got Glenda, I got Rafael. Let me see who else. Jennifer Torres, okay. Anna, Edwin, Wilbur, okay, perfect. Okay, let's wait for the other ones. Sure. Yes? I can see the link, excuse me. Oh, okay. So um, let me send it, okay? Give me one okay. sec. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we'll see. There you go. And the Pascal is grammar. Yes, I can see. I can see it. All right. Mm, okay, I got Andrea, Jose Salvador, perfect. Susana, okay. Okay, so let me see. Um, okay, most of you got 100. Okay, we're just missing one of you. Let's wait for two minutes, okay? All right, guys, so now we are going to take the listening, okay? The listening. So let's open the first one. Let me see. The first listening. Let's open the first one. Let me see. Okay, there you go. And the passcode is listening. Listening, okay? Um. Okay, let me know once you are in. I mean. Perfect, thank you. I am in. All right, thank you. Who is not in? Who is missing? Nobody? All right. Ready, okay, all right. Here we go, guys. I'm going to play it twice, okay? Two times. Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do, you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay, guys. 
Here we go again. Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay, ready? No, okay, again, here we go again. Hi, I'm Randall, and I just wanted to share with you three ideas on how to exercise better. Number one, choose something that you enjoy. If you like running, run. If you like lifting weights, do that as well. The second idea is do it with someone. Uh, it's kind of boring to do exercise by yourself, but if you do you know, exercise with a friend, I enjoy doing it with my wife, then you can talk and share ideas and share goals together. And that leads to the third point, choose something that is realistic. Don't try to run nine days a week. Just start basic, start easy, and as you do that, you can kind of work up to things to where you're feeling comfortable and feeling good about your exercise program. Okay, now? Okay, well, submit your answers, okay? Submit your answers. Yeah, send your answers. Um, okay, guys, now let's take the other one, okay? Let's take the other listening quiz. Open the second one. Let me see this course. Okay. All right, now let's take the second one. Here you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? So let me know once you're in. I mean, team. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to play it twice, okay? If you need an extra time, please let me know. Here we go. Hey, uh, you look really unhappy. What's going on? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Okay, see ya. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you walking away? Well, you said I didn't want to know. No, wait. You see, my parents really don't love me. What do you mean? When I met them last week, they seemed really caring. Ah, ah, you don't understand. You see, I want a new smartphone. I, I, I mean, I need one, and my parents won't buy me it. Excuse me, but uh, don't you already have an iPhone? Ah, ah, ah. Man, yeah, but it's three months old. And it has a small scratch on it. Where? Let look, me look. see. Let me see. Look, look, look. I don't see a scratch. Th look. Look right here. That? Do you see it? It's just a speck of dust. Anyway, and my other phone. What? You're... You have two phones? That's beside the so, point. So did your parents give you a reason for not buying you a new phone? Not a good one. Only something about being self-reliant and not being yeah. so entitled or something like that. And now they want me to work on the neighbor's farm to pay for it. Good idea. It's not fair. Hey, I, I think I know the problem. Take look. a look in the mirror. You'll see both the problem uh, and the solution. Ah, you're no help. Okay, here we go again. Hey, uh, you look really unhappy. What's going on? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Okay, see ya. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you walking away? Well, you said I didn't want to know. No, wait. You see, my parents really don't love me. What do you mean? 
When I met them last week, they seemed really caring. Ah, ah, you don't understand. You see, I want a new smartphone. I, I, I mean, I need one, and my parents won't buy me it. Excuse me, but uh, don't you already have an iPhone? Ah, ah, ah. Man, yeah, but it's three months old, and it has a small scratch on it. Where? Let look, me look. see. Let me see. Look, look, look. I don't see a scratch. D look, look right here. That? Do you see it? It's just a speck of dust. Anyway, and my other phone. What? You're... You have two phones? That's beside the so, point. So, did your parents give you a reason for not buying you a new phone? Not a good one. Only something about being self-reliant and not being yeah. so entitled or something like that. And now they want me to work on the neighbor's farm to pay for it. Good idea. It, it's not fair. Hey, I, I think I know the problem. Take what? a look in the mirror. You'll see both the problem ah. and the solution. Ah, you're no help. Okay, ready or no yet? Okay, one more time. Here we go. Hey, uh, you look really unhappy. What's going on? Ah, you don't want to know. Okay, see ya. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you walking away? Well, you said I didn't want to know. Now, wait. You see, my parents really don't love me. What do you mean? When I met them last week, they seemed really caring. Ah, ah, you don't understand. You see, I want a new smartphone. I, I, I mean, I need one, and my parents won't buy me it. Excuse me, but uh, don't you already have an iPhone? Ah, ah, ah. Man, yeah, but it's three months old, and it has a small scratch on it. Where? Let look, me look. see. Let me see. Look, look, look. I don't see a scratch. Look, look right here. That? Do you see it? It's just a speck of dust. Anyway, and my other phone. What? You're... You have two phones? That's beside the so, point. So, did your parents give you a reason for not buying you a new phone? Not a good one. Only something about being self-reliant and not being yeah. so entitled or something like that. And now they want me to work on the neighbor's farm to pay for it. Good idea. It, it's not fair. Hey, I, I think I know the problem. Take what? a look in the mirror. You'll see both the problem <sighs> and the solution. Ah, you're no help. Okay, guys. So let's see. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100, some of you got 80, okay. Mm. Okay, it was kind of difficult, right? It was confusing. This one, yes, guys, it was kind of, kind of difficult, okay? All right, so let's continue with the class, okay? Let's continue. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is that we are going to write the antonyms, okay? Let's see, guys. If someone is rude or not polite, so they are, what is the antonym for polite? Unpolite. Unpolite. Okay, unpolite. Okay, well, actually, no. It is going to be impolite. I am. Im, impolite, okay? Yes, impolite. What about number two? If someone lies or never tells the truth, they are? Dishonest. Dishonest. Dishonest, okay? This, dishonest, very good. What about number three, guys? If something is not likely or probable to happen, it is? Unlikely. 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 Perfect. If something happens randomly or it isn't expected, it is? Unexpected. Excellent. Expected. And number five, if someone treats others badly, they? Mm -hmm. They? Mistreat? Yes. Mistreat. Perfect. 
Hmm? Antonyms. Okay, antonyms. Okay, let's move. All right. So number one, if you are polite and positive in your business communication, it can prevent someone from Which is the antonym for this one? Misunderstand you? Yes, misunderstand. All right. Or miss. Miss. Misunderstand. Excellent. Number two, if you communicate in a bossy or annoyed tone, it will irritate others and make them. Uncooperate. Un uncooperate. Yes. And number three, when speaking with people in business, if you keep your eyes on your phone, they will feel? Disrespect. 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 Correct. Yeah. Very good. Okay, guys. Now let's talk about this transition word, although. Uh, Susana, can you please help us reading the definition? And Anna, the example. Okay. Also, así, no. Although. Although. Although is a conjunction used to express contrast between two ideas, facts, situation, etc. It expresses the, the same meaning as the conjunction, but, but with a different position in the sentence. But is a place at the beginning of the second clause, not the first. Mm -hmm. The example two. Uh, Anna, the example, please. Oh, okay. yes, thank you, Susan. Example, workplace culture and expectation came vary between companies but the basic of business etiquette can be used in almost any kind of workplace perfect thank you guys what is the meaning of although what is the meaning of this transition word what is although aunque aunque right yes although aunque okay so it says Match the first clause on each sentence below with the correct second clause. Okay, so it says, although I have a low salary. I'm more productive at the company office. Okay, I'm more productive at the company office. Okay. Number two, although I'm often late to meetings, I showed up a few minutes early. Okay, although I'm often late to the meetings, I show up a few minutes early today, okay? Perfect, number three, Although I am really cooperative, I prefer to I do prefer my work do individually. Work. Individually. Mm -hmm. individually. Yes. Although I love working from home, I'm more productive at the company office. Correct. Okay. So we're going to move that one. Number one is letter D. Yes, I think the same. Okay. And number five, although I pay attention at meetings, I sometimes, sometimes forgot forget. what was discussed. Correct. Okay, so although means aunque. Okay, although, although. All right, let's move. And we have an activity, okay? So what you need to do is that you are going to write full sentences. Right with the conjunction although as the example. So we have two words. We have unprepared and we have interview. And look at this sentence. All right. Although I was unprepared, comma, the job interview went really well. So you are going to create the sentences 
with the words that you have right here. So we have sick, work, sleep, tired, hard, walk. Okay, yeah. Do you have any question? Be sure and make sure, guys, that you need to use although at the beginning and the comma in the middle of the two sentences. Okay, so this is teamwork. So we are going to work on teams, yeah? And do you have any questions, doubts? No? Okay, so here we go. Open the class, okay? Open the class so you can have it. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes? Uh, is a specific time for this question or can be past, present? Yes. Or in yeah. any way time yes in any time mm -hmm. okay okay perfect and let me just okay here we go Okay, how are you? Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? Oh, mm -hmm. I, yeah. No question? No, no, I'm looking at the class. Oh, the class, it, it is the last one, okay? Yes, I okay. thought. Right. Do you have any question, guys? No. No? All right. You're alone. <laughs> yes. And Raul, oh my God, he didn't join. Okay. And yes, I will move you. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> Hello guys, do you have any question about the activity? Mm -hmm. Dudas, preguntas acerca de la actividad? Las oraciones son en, en tiempo presente o en cualquier tiempo? En cualquier tiempo. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and walk in car. Okay, we use it. While you oh, no. wait, we wait you. I think we need car to create a sentence. Uh, hello? <laughs> Carlos, can you hear me? Yes. Or, uh, we'll oh, okay. see with this. Yes. Anyway. The pronunciation is although, teacher. Although. 
Yes. Muto. Teacher is correct if I say, although I slept eight hours yesterday, I am tired today. Oh, okay. Although I sleep or I slept? Slept. Slept. Eight hours yesterday, I am tired today. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, so hmm. what do you think about seek and work? Mm -hmm. Carlos, do you have any idea about these examples or this word? Uh, in the first, yes. Uh, although in, if I am sick, I, I am working work. Excuse me, can you repeat again, please? Although if I am sick, okay. I'll go to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Send the message. <laughs> El parche le falta. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. The number two. <laughs> what happened with the number two? No, le, no, le escuché. I can listen. Ah. Although I was asleep all the night. Mm hmm. Oh, although I slept, I slept, I slept. all the night. Uh, I <laughs> woke up, woke up, mm -hmm. tired, tired. Okay. Yeah. Vejez le llaman. Me all, all day, all of day, in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Sí. Okay. Oh my God, okay. you have a parrot, Wilbur. Yes. It's my parrot. Uh, his name is Apollo. Apollo. Ah, Apollo wants a coffee. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And how old is he? Yes. How old is he? Ah, uh, he is. Mm, he's uh, one year around. Okay. He is young. He's young. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But he's super uh, straight up. Stress up. Really? Because my yes, because my sound. Uh, any moment, any in any moment is, is bothers uh, him. Bothers him. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. All right. So beautiful. Okay. Ready? 
Ready. Okay, perfect. Ready. All right. Uh, let's go back, guys. Okay. okay. See you, Bye, guys. Polo. See you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, es modales. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Um, um, all right, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to stop sharing, sharing uh, the screen uh, because we're in the main room. Okay. Okay. We're going to start we're with this. Start one. With this. I would like to hear like some to of your. Why, your... oh, but I, 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 I tell. Me, which of them? The feedback. Maybe it's the least. The least. Okay, I don't know about, okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so what is your example for sick and work? Your example sentence for sick and work? Also, I was sick in the morning. I went to work in the afternoon. Perfect. Number two, asleep and tired. Although I was I left all day. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. Although I was slept all the night, mm -hmm. I woke up tired. Okay. All right, yes. Could be. In number three, Sorry, car and walk. Uh -huh. Number three, car and walk. Although I have a car. I prefer to walk to my job. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Okay, guys. Choose the correct nouns that fit the text below. One is not used. All right. Number one, Rafael. Number two, Raul. Number three, Nelson. And number four, Salvador. Number one. Business etiquette is all about treating your co-workers and customers with respect and, and etiquette. Okay, and etiquette. Mm, okay, let's leave it like that right now. Number two. Uh, you should offer a firm uh, I think it's handshake when initially meet someone. Excellent. Handshake, handshake. Right? right? Yes. Yes. Three? Three? Uh, Nelson? Using good eye contact and being an active listener show that you're engaged. Perfect. And number four? It's important to write and speak in a friendly tone. Correct. Okay. So business etiquette is all about treating your co-workers and customers with respect and honesty. Okay. But very good. All right, guys. So a uh, business etiquette that is very important at work. Okay. So why are manners important? What are manners? Manners, modales. Modales, okay? Why are manners important for you? Do people have more manners now or in earlier times? What do you think about, about this one? Well, I think that everything has changed, right? So nowadays people probably... I don't know. It depends. Can manners affect your success in life? Yes. I think that yes. Mm -hmm. Can manners affect your success in life? Yes. And yes. Have, or no. Or no. Why? Mm -hmm. Then we are going to move to those. All right. Have you ever traveled to another country for a business? Yes or no? If so, do you experience differences in business etiquette? Yes, of course, right? 
in any other uh, countries, they do follow a different business etiquette, right? They follow a different one. So do you think that doing social activities with your colleagues outside of work is good business etiquette? Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the idea of becoming Facebook friends with your colleagues? Okay, so we're going to practice with those guys and then we're going to come back to the main room. Okay, we're going to practice speaking. Yeah, let's go back to the rooms. Okay, let me see. Okay, I see that. Hmm. Okay. Conversations, question. Why are manners important? The manners be the man. What? The manners be the man. Be the man. Okay, you don't know. The ham, the ham, ham people? Is the same. Do you see the movie Gentleman? Uh -huh. Gentleman. No? Gentleman. Yeah. Gentleman. Yeah. No, I don't remember. Maybe gentleman. <laughs> they, 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 they have a, a phrase. Those modales. Uh, manners, uh, no sé si es solo be, to be the man, hacen al hombre. The manners. It sounds like, it sounds like, it sounds like, it like, uh, or the manners uh, define you. Your personality. Mm. Your uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I have a problem yeah. with my connection and don't listen that. The question is why are manners important? Manners is modales. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um any time or any place or around a specific place, a job, yes. a friend, with friends, with I don't your, know. With your colleagues, I think. Okay, uh, I think uh, you can be respect with them and always say hello to have a salutation with their with that and I think that is important because the uh, convivencia I don't know what neither how can I say in English a friendly environment mm. Could be. Amigable, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, you can say daily coexistence. Daily coexistence. Mm -hmm. Daily coexistence. Right. So um, we can have a good daily coexistence with them. If you have a good communication, I think. Okay. I think it's very important uh, because when I have 
good manners. The other people they can they can think about you. You are uh, very polite, and that and that is good for another person, and also for you. It depends because I am a polite person, but my colleagues know. And I say, good morning, every day, and they don't answer me. <laughs> then I say, thank okay. you, or, or any word, and well. they don't answer me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> people sometimes are like that right? yes yeah. it you doesn't should... matter yeah. you are polite oh. I mean it matters okay for the people that actually do like that type of um, you know behavior but you should always mm -hmm. be the same as you are right you shouldn't change yes <laughs> yes mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next question is do people have more manners now or in early times? What do you think? I think that in early times. Yes, I think that too. What? Because now yeah. what it means all the time all the people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So because yeah, I past. think that because the yes, Edwin. Okay. So I think the uh, in our time uh, the people was uh, people were <clears throat> people were right. Uh, more manners than now, okay. than today, right? Mm -hmm. Because now the people is people are more or or the yes, people are uh, more busy and don't pay attention uh, at the manners mm -hmm. and all the manners mm -hmm. want everything. Always wants everything um, quickly. <clears throat> uh, I yes. think that is correct. Okay. All right. Continue with the next one, guys. Okay. Let me check the other room. Your house and your tour and different place, all different moments. For me, it's important. Yeah. Um, Rosa or oh, Jennifer? For me, have ethical values, I think important. Mm. Why? Because for um, health, uh, we We have more successes like in with uh, the family, with the work, uh, with the friends, mm -hmm. uh, with the business, I think. Mm -hmm. For me, our manners can help us stay at work and at home. Okay. The next word, the next, next question. 
Do you think that doing social, doing social activities with your colleagues outside of work is good business etiquette? I don't think so. I think it's a bad, a bad idea. Really? It depends. But it depends because it says business etiquette. But if you want to make a friend, it's good. It's good. But uh, you don't don't go go out with your employees, for example. I think it's a bad idea. Mm, but you think about the out like a uh, uh, planning okay. and uh, go outside, but with a specific college. Yeah. A specific co work it. Mm -hmm. But the question reference about the the group or, or the team of the of the business. So I think that is really good because there are many ah. many how say um como potenciar diferentes habilidades sociales para cuando estén tratando en la empresa se lleven bien. Improve. Improve. Improve uh, health abilities to, to increase the environment in the work. Okay. That's the... mm. For example, share some lunch, share some uh, <laughs> successful in the, in the business or some, or some party. Mm -hmm. Interesting job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this case, it's good. Uh, we have a, a Christmas party, mm -hmm. for example. For a special occasions, right? Yeah. Uh -huh, but not every like single, uh -huh, not every single week, right? Because if not, that is not actually business etiquette. That, that would be just a gathering, right? A simple gathering with friends. Mm -hmm. And as you explained the, in the beginning in the class, you say something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, the next question, what do you think about the idea of becoming Facebook friends with your college? That is, really bad. Really bad. So that is bad. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm luck. I'm luck, my college. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you simulate a uh secret day <laughs> and you was in the in the beach yeah you were you were and you have the human resource bus in your contacts but, yeah. <laughs> we had a client with the it's same idea with the same, with the same no I, I had a client with the same problem uh we installed gps and he told me the same uh, uh Toxic. The same history that Rafael said. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, he 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 borrowed uh his car, and he said, "Hey, I had, uh, I had to carry so many things, pick up in the pickup, uh, I pick up and then, he lo dejó otro lado, verdad? But uh, a friend, an older friend, mm -hmm. called him." And and tell him, hey, why are you doing your car in the beach? And he said, ah, <laughs> what, what car? Ah, and he explained the, what car was. Mm -hmm. And so he told me, so imagine, I trust in them, but they 
eh, es, eh, ahí me mencionó la, las palabras, y yo le doy la mano, pero se toman el codo. Entonces esa fue una de las razones por las que él decidió poner GPS, porque le generaron la, la misma desconfianza. Sí, igualito, Rafael. ¿Y? <risa> la historia que mencionaste. Es... Ah, ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, sí, sí, la historia que mencionaste. <risa> No, yo no sé si fuiste a la playa, puede ser, va. No, no, mentira. No burn me. <ríe> Ay, no. Ok. I was going to take nap very often during class. Other students can take nap or only take nap, which is the thing is there. Mm -hmm. to pay attention. It depends because if you had a, a, a memory, a good memory, so there's no problem. Yes, but in my, case, in my case, I had to write everything or I can. Mm -hmm. It's complicated. I guess the, the people who take note have a more. Um, How do you say retener? Retention? Uh, have a more retention of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. The people that, that take notes. Yeah. The note. okay. All right. But I Maybe. think the better way is to pay attention. Do you take notes, guys, or do you just listen? I prefer take notes. I take notes Both. because because I am I am absent minded, so I have mm -hmm. so many programs. Okay, you Rafael? Uh, sometimes, no, no very often. Mm -hmm. No often. Okay. Well, I think that probably sometimes it's better to take notes because you can forget some important or re relevant information, right? So, yeah, but it depends, it depends. Okay, yes. continue with the other two guys, okay? We are almost done. What do you think? Jonas? Mm. Okay. Yeah, um, this, uh, I, I like to participate in activities social. Social activities? I'm sure, uh, tam, I'm sure to participate tam, to. and other participation. In my case, it is just is very important the social activities with the, the collage because you learn to relate better and you and you create a better work environment 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 mm -hmm. thanks mm -hmm. that is correct i agree Okay, Salvador. When I started in the university, mm -hmm. in our trabajo de graduación. In our graduation project. We Hicimos un proyecto de reforestación. Mm -hmm. Ok. Project Forest. Ok. Mm -hmm. uh, order question. Some students take not very often during class. Other students. Student, do not take notes or rarely take notes. Which do you think is better? Mm 
Mm -hmm. Guys, do you take notes when you are in classes or are you just listening? Do you take I take I take no note. You take notes. Okay. And the because other one? I I I learn more in this form. This way. This way. I am a student. Take notes. You take notes. Okay, Karen. Rose? For me, it's better. Okay. Yeah. In case I take notes, because it serves to practice later. Okay. Yeah, could be, right? Guys, and watch, watching TV is not good. All right, it's not a good use of time. Do you agree or disagree? What do you think about that one, guys? Do you think that watching TV is something good or bad? For me, it's good. Good, <laughs> or good but a period of time. Okay. For a period of time, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And do you agree or disagree with the following statement? What a person wears can show his or her personality. What do you think about that one? Do you think that, that is correct or no? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's difficult answer. Okay, why? Um, because no, um, um, always is is a person can can be show her personality. Um, how do you say it? a través a true true uh, a true strangers. Uh, because um um I see where uh, one a person um swear um um say faltas largas long skirts long skirt in in her personality is, is very very bad mm. and, Entonces, it's difficult in some case, I think. Yes. Okay. But in, in some some case, it, the idea is the person um is a good is a good mm -hmm. have you said, trabajador hard work ah is a good work when very well mm -hmm. so I will pro, pro, professionalism uh, professionalism professionalism mm -hmm. uh, but I think in some case depends on uh, the, the economic um, the money in some case that is true it depends it depends. Okay, let's go back to the main room because it's almost time. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, guys, let me ask you this question, okay? Do you agree or disagree? with the following statement. What a person wears can show his or her personality. Do you think that is true or no? Mm -hmm. What a person wears can show his or her personality. Yes or no? What do you think? Huh? I think no. That... No. Okay. Well, Why? Because I know many people 
Dios. Eh, no sé cómo decirlo. Dios. Uh, nice clothes. And every time they are so clean and beauty, but, but their manners are bad. Okay. All right. Okay. What about the other ones? Do you think that what you wear can show your personality? Mm -hmm. No. I think because, that no. Because that you were is what no were? that you know. Okay. So what you were is not what you actually know. Yes, I agree on that one. Yeah, I think that no, right? So we cannot judge people by the way they look. No, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. So let's see. Um, where do you like to go shopping, guys? Where? Give me a place that you really like visiting to go shopping. Dollar City? No? No. Could be. Marketplace. The marketplace. Yes. Genesis. Yes. <laughs> Genesis. The shopping center, right? Okay. Didn't exist Genesis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that uh, probably those type of places you can find a lot of uh, good things, right? I love the hardware stores. Okay, Rafael. Very yes, good. yes, I agree. You can okay. find unnecessary things. Unnecessary. <laughs> but unnecessary. Things. I agree. Unnecessary you, want buy? You, you buy. You don't know. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> okay. I don't need this. Just I, because... don't, I don't need this, but I buy it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So actually we are going to stop right here just because of the time, okay? I really thank you for being part of this module, okay? So I hope you have learned a lot. It was my pleasure to be your teacher during this uh, month. Well, one month and one week, right? So five weeks, yeah. Then guys, I really uh, hope that you continue with your English process, right? Your English uh, learning process actually. So try to study. You all have the potential, right? You all have the capacity to speak English in a very uh, fluently way. You need to practice, okay? Try to practice and get more vocabulary. At this point, you need to get phrases. Try to study phrases, okay? Yeah? So Thank it was a great okay? Thank you. Take care, all right? Thank you. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Teacher, thank you for your excellent teaching and passion with me. <laughs> thank you. Okay, Salvador, my pleasure. All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care, Rafael. You're welcome. All right.